Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 16 of the March Liquor Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem and just everything in general. Today's problem is, of course, best time to buy and sell stock of transaction fee. Okay, so I, you know, I solved these lives, so I'll definitely fast forward. This is a little bit slow, but I've solved these sort of problems before, so I usually have a standard way of doing it. Um, yeah, and I think the way that I think about it is actually um, a little bit different than other people. The way that I think about it is just keeping track of um, states, but I break it out into two functions, right? Uh, one is that, okay, I mean, it's going to be um, top-down dynamic or top-down memorization uh, or dynamic programming is the way that I'm going to explain it. You can, of course, convert it to bottoms-up dynamic programming and also there are techniques that you can do. Um, but, okay, and it's fine. To, that's fine, because I knew that was going to be linear. So there's two two place, two states that you can think of, uh, one two, di two different states of uh, one dimension that you can think of is whether, you know, I, I hold a stock or I don't hold a stock and want to buy a stock, right? So those are the two things that you can be um, what I call states that you can be in. Um, and then the other one is just day, right? If day. So so let's kind of think about it, right? So, um, yeah. So let's just say no stock, uh, day, right? So that, that's my function. And what happens when we have no, no stock on a day, right? Uh, well, let's also set n is equal to, this is just for convention to make it easier. So, okay, if day is equal to n, then we return zero, right? That means that, you know, it doesn't matter if you have no stock, it doesn't, you don't have any profit, it doesn't matter, uh, you, you know, your, your, your job is done because the day is n, right? And then the other thing is, okay, so then now you have an option, right? You don't hold a stock, you can either, I can either buy a, buy a stock, buy a stock on this day, and and what is that well so the profit or the the cost or whatever is um let's see wait what's the transaction fee on for each transaction okay oh transaction is a little bit awkward because it seems like you only do it for selling do i guess you always want to sell maybe but oh yeah you could buy a stock on this day right uh, oh, and is there also any cooldown anything? Hmm. Yeah, you could buy a stock on this day. Um, and what does that look like, right? So prof profit buying is equal to, well, let's also have a template for holding stock for day. We're not going to fill that in quite yet because we're still filling out the other one. But yeah, profit buying is you go to okay now we hold hold the stock on day plus one plus oh sorry minus the cost of buying it on this day which is prices of day right um so that would be the profit for if you buy it because then that you after you bought it you hold the stock for the next day and you have to pay the price um technically you could sell the stock on the same day but we add the plus one we have an artificial limitation of selling on the next day because it doesn't make sense to sell on the same day for obvious reason because you have well in this case i was gonna say it doesn't do anything but actually because of the fee uh you actually lose money so that doesn't make sense so maybe in that way it's a little bit greedy and then profit rating is equal to uh no stock day plus one so this is just us uh not doing anything today we're just holding the stock and then yeah and then and those are basically the two decisions that you can do if you don't have a stock right you can either buy it today or you don't buy it today so so then we, you know in a greedy kind of way we just take the max out of those two uh as the as the answer and that's pretty much it for no if we don't hold a stock and in a similar way In a similar way, if we hold the stock, if day is equal to n, that means we, we messed up, we returned zero, say, um, because we shouldn't hold the stock 
at where you are and maybe we can change that but we i think that would be suboptimal anyway uh like we could change this to negative infinity or something like that so that we don't ever hold the stock in the last day um but i think it actually works out that this would be just as bad in either case i think um like if you hold the stock and you don't sell it um hmm. because then you wouldn't buy the stock to begin with right Okay, then it, what happens when you can hold a stock, right? I can sell a stock on this day, sell those stock. Our profit selling is equal to, uh, after we sold the stock, we have no stock, right? On day plus one, again, same logic with, with using the same day because then it just cancels out. And then we make the, we make money on today's prices um, because we sold the stock and then we minus the fee because that's just how fees work. Uh, not doing anything today is the, the other one again, where you know profit waiting is equal to uh, holding the stock for one more day. And then here we return the max of profit of selling and profit of waiting. Um, and that's pretty much it. And we kick it off by, you know, uh, we, we have no stock in the beginning on day zero. So that's our kickoff. Um, I know that this is not going to be fast enough because of... Uh, you know, just for reasons, because this is too slow, because this is exponential in running time. So what do we do? Well, we add something called memorization, but we're going to just run it real quick. It looks okay. Uh, I'm going to maybe try, oh, that's the fee. Maybe just try a, a TLE case just to kind of show you. Uh, so this is N where N is slightly bigger. Uh, it should be, yeah, so, as expected, this is going to be time limit exceeded, right? And then now we go back to be like, okay, how do we add memorization? Um, well, the first thing to notice is that now that we formulated our 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 problem like this, uh, we can look at the input, right? Well, the input for this function, it, day only goes from 0 to n, right? So that means that we can actually store all the possible answers, and that's what memorization does. So let's store it. Um, and also, same thing for holding stock, obviously, for, from 0 to n, but we're not going to get it. We'll uh, just assume by symmetry. So then now we're going to add some cache. Um, so no stock cache, maybe? As you go to, uh, let's just say negative infinity times. Uh, n, n plus 1 maybe? Oh, I don't know why I've, it's only one dimensional. Um, yeah, and infinity is equal to, let's just say full that thing, and then no stock has cash. I, I like to write, write it out this way just for clarity, for educational purposes. Definitely, you know, you don't have to do it this way, but, you know, it allows you to see the space really quickly. Because the space, obviously, if you just look at this real quick, it's O of N because we have N plus one space, right? So, yeah. So then here we can just do if no stock has cash or has no stock cash, maybe would have been better, but same idea. Uh, return no stock uh, cash of day. And then, of course, uh, at the way end, we just have to put it in uh, and... And uh, what's the other one? And that's pretty much it for the caching of this part. Uh, of course, we have to do it for the holding stock as well. So let's do that. Just going to do a little bit of magic copy and paste, but same idea. In the interest of time, I usually type them out more a little bit, but um, because I feel like copy and paste, I usually make mistakes. But uh, yeah, what what happened here? Oh, hmm. rendering. But yeah. And that's pretty much the idea. That's memorization. You just, you know, check whether you have the cache and if it has the cache, you return it. That's basically the idea. And then now we run the same code. Uh, you can see that it, 
you know, it runs way much quicker at 28 millisecond. Um, so let's give it a submit. Cool, and accept it, yay. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the formula, the, my formulation of this problem. And yeah, so going over the time, again, the input, I'm just gonna go over with no stock, but the same thing for holding stock as well. They only go from zero to N. Um, each, each day takes over one time to process. So total work is equal to O of N times O of 1, which is equal to O of N. So we have linear time. In terms of space, you can, yeah, that's why I like to do it this way instead of using like a hash table or something. You can clearly see that this is O of N because we only have N plus 1 entry at most. So it's going to be linear time, linear space. Uh, and we're holding stock, it's exactly the same uh, logic. So yeah, just so double check that if you like. Um, but yeah. That's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. I I like I know that you can do this in one function or something like that, um, but I like to break it down because why not? I mean, I know that you can dry it a little bit, um, and you know this is just an if statement if you want to do it that way. Um, you know, putting them in the same function, but I think here um, it, it makes the states more explicit and you can kind of think about why this is the or how this comes about and also from each state at a time um, i think in the beginning or uh, like if you're earlier on your dynamic programming journey um it's easy to it's easy to see why that you know how to separate out the logic um because i you know, later on, and that's what the more advanced people do, uh, especially if you look at contest code and stuff like that, they're able to know all these states and then compress them into a one function. But I think earlier on, um, it's okay to kind of do it this way where you're breaking them down to double functions, even if they have a lot of overlap, because this is this is very similar to this line, but, but that's okay, right? Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Let me know what you think about this problem. Let me know what you think about the solution. Um, have a great week. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. Uh, stay good. Stay safe. And I'll see you later. And do good mental health. Bye-bye.